you guys, welcome to today's video. Let's do a full face of Wet n Wild products, shall we? I um, I got this new Pout and Love. It's like this gel lip balm at Walgreens from Wet n Wild. I don't know if I like it. Hmm. I like the way it feels, but it's kind of. I don't normally do just like a little bit of color. I like clear lip balms. <laughs> I have a lot of Wet n Wild products. Oh my God. So first of all, there are a couple new things, which I think I've shown you everything new, but just in case, um, I'm gonna go through. Um, okay, so I found these cushion, mega cushions, I don't think I've mentioned them yet. This one is exclusively at Walmart. They're color correcting. They have the highlight and the contour at other locations, but they have the green and the yellow and the purple and the peach at Walmart. This is for dark circles. So I'm gonna give it a try. It's like cushion. <laughs> it's like cushion. It's pretty concentrate actually. I'm gonna put this on before foundation, just to get rid of that um, blue, my blue under eye area. And then I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the bronze contour one yet. This one is Cafe Au Soleil. They come with a little pad and yeah hmm. huh we'll <laughs> I might regret that we'll see I'm gonna see how my foundation looks I am going to I probably should have gotten the one for redness I'm looking kind of red today um, I am gonna do this where is the coverall stick this this I have this cover stick, correction stick. They have, this is the Mega Glow collection. There's a makeup stick, there's conceal, there's bronze, there's highlight. They've got several. I wanna see about just kinda of going over my red areas first before I go in with foundation. Just kinda of trying something. I'm gonna blend all that out. Okay, I am going to take the new Photo Focus Every time my beauty blender drops on the floor, there's so much cat and dog hair that gets on it and human hair. So I have two shades of the new foundation Photo Focus. I'm gonna use the Nude Ivory in Light Claire. The Shell Ivory is just a little bit pale. They kind of look the same, but I'm hoping this one has a little more pigment to it. Um, we'll see. Oh my gosh, really? It kind of looks the same. I wanna match my neck. These pink lips are throwing me off. Are they just not the worst ever? Mm-mm. Yeah, I still need, there are a lot of shade range selection from this um, foundation. Uh, so, and the light shades do run really light. So that's good news for pale people. So I'm gonna keep looking for a, a more, you know, kind of in between light yellow shade, I feel like. And also I've noticed that some shades are available at Walgreens and not at Walmart that maybe not, maybe, I mean, based on the tester, on the display, it wasn't just that there was empty spaces, there were actually, the units were different. So this foundation is pretty great. It's not a very heavy coverage. It's a pretty medium coverage and it goes well with the powder from this collection that is supposed to prevent any flashback So 
So I think I match. I think I match. I may just put in a few more areas of this. Um, primer in the white tube is really really good but it leaves my eyelids red after I use it and there must just be one ingredient or a you know whatever ingredient uh, is in there that irritates my um, my eyelid so that's just me I've heard that actually from some other people. So I say that's just me, but that's actually not just me. But my point is it's a very good product in terms of priming the eye and making your shadow last. It just doesn't work well on me. This new concealer, also in the photo focus, I got the shade Light Ivory, is pretty good. I'm gonna be careful in not packing it on too heavy. It's a very concentrate concealer. I like it better than the coverall. I know some people swear by this. You guys have messaged me. Um, I'm not a fan as much of the coverall powder. I'm really glad they came out with this new line. But for those of you who did like the original, that's awesome because it is so affordable. And I do know that it has some really great properties. I'm just, it just doesn't work for me. Okay. So I have two shades of the pressed powder and I'm going to do neutral buff around my exterior. I think it'd be so much fun if Wet n Wild came out with a loose powder. The little brush. That's what's great about this is you can really put it on. and you won't get raccoon eyes. Reverse raccoon eyes. Okay, let's use, that is not, I can't find my Wet n Wild shadow brush. Ah. So I'm going to use my favorite Wet n Wild kind of powder slash bronze brush and I am going to go in with my, one of my favorite, favorite bronzers. This one is, Take it to Brazil. And then of course, you guys, Reserve Your Cabana is coming up. You know it is. And then, oh my God, Reserve Your Cabana. I haven't used you in so long, I'm sorry. Find a nice fluffy brush for you. But the problem is I have so many great Wet n Wild highlighters right now that I can't just do this one. Oh, do you see how it just kind of makes my face glow? It is very similar to that Milani powder I like too. This palette I think has been around longer than this palette. And I can't decide which one I like better. I think I'm going to use the Eau Naturelle in Nude Awakening. Um, I'm just going to do something pretty simple, you know. You know the drill. Let's, let's use... There's nothing, of course. They're numbered. Six? Is that number six? One, two, three, four. Yes, it is, Rebecca. I can count. I'll zoom you in a little. Isn't that nice of me? Oh, this actually looks darker. I like it. It's a little more pigment than what it looks like in the pan. See that, that? Okay, number seven. Just a pencil brush and I'm going to go in with the shade number one. Isn't 
This is shade number two. I'm just putting on my finger. Now, what am I going to use for underneath? I think I'm going to go in with number six again and just kind of right here. I'm going to go in a little bit of number seven, just at the outer edge. Somehow, I do have a mascara. I thought I had more mascaras. I have this mascara, which I love, and that is my Mega Slim Skinny. I put this in my dupe video. I know that I have on a lot of kind of highlight product with the uh, Reserve Your Cabana, but Wet n Wild is kind of killing me with highlighters lately. So there's three fabulous ones, and I haven't mentioned to you yet this fourth one, which is a regular product, you know, a, not a limited edition, and it's Boozy Brunch, and it is so good. It's a very strange kind of marbleized one, but if you can find it, get it. Look how that does that. So yeah. But then of course we have Crown of My Canopy, Precious Petals, and the Gold Bar. I think the Gold Bar is online, but I don't know. And then these two you can find in stores now. Um, they are a regular. <laughs> Thank you. In the spirit of being affordable, I'm going to use this Ardell pencil, which I do love um, because I don't seem to have any uh, Wet n Wild eyebrow stuff. So I love the new Wet n Wild lip pencils. These are the Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner. This one is Bare to Comment. I don't know if this shade is actually going to match what I really want to wear on my lips. And that's the new Liquid Cat Suit. I just got this shade. Isn't that pretty? It is very recognized. So I love the Liquid Cat Suits, but the darker shades and the brighter shades, not the light shades. <laughs> Well, that's good. That turned out darker than I thought. I thought it was kind of going to be a medium berry moth, but it's not, and that's okay. Did I use blush? I don't remember if I showed you the blush. I love Wet n Wild blushes. To me, they are as good as any high-end blush. This Rosé Champagne is probably my favorite shade, but lately, every time I've seen it on the shelf, it's like changed color. I don't know what the deal is with it. I'm going to just use a little bit of this. There, this is the apricot in the middle. Okay, so here is the finished product. I hope you enjoy this full face of Wet n Wild. And if you have any questions, comments, leave them below for me. I hope you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, all that good stuff. 
So I'm a pretty big fan of Wet n Wild, as you can tell. I have a lot of stuff. So Summer Hits, Summer Misses, and I also feature a lot of it in my Bargain of the Week series. But um, some of these I hadn't shown you or it just had been a while since I talked about. So I was like, it's time. It's time to play with them. Well, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.